For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 13 of the Arsenal Career Mode here on FIFA 17. Uh, we start with an away game in Monaco, our final Champions League game of the group stage. We are already through to the knockouts. We managed to uh, seal our place, uh, well actually two games ago to be fair. So uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a victory against Monaco. Unfortunately for them, they kind of need a win to guarantee themselves progression through to the next stage as well. So we'll have to wait and see how they do. I will play a complete rotation side against them and Juve and Mucci and Gladbach will fight it out between themselves for that uh, second spot. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And then what I'm gonna do is play Stoke at the weekend. And then I'm going to do a squad report because I'm going to end this recording session or this stream after I finish recording this Stoke game. So we'll have a squad report and then you guys can let me know in the comment section. I'll kind of run through my ideas in the, uh, in the squad report about what I'm thinking of doing in January. And then you guys can let me know in the comment section on YouTube as well as obviously everybody in chat with their live reactions can let me know what you think I should do in January. And I'll probably stream this again. Uh, over the weekend to get to the transfer window by which point I'll be able to have taken your comments on board on YouTube to then stream during the week to uh, record in the transfer window so uh, that's why we're doing it that way because obviously I'm recording ahead for Gamescom but I still want to get your guys feedback on uh, on YouTube as well so that's the situation right now Monaco Stoke squad report for episode number 13 drop the video a like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out more follow me on Twitch so you can watch these live and let's head to the south of France Ozil. The fact that Mesut Ozil is in my backup team now. Oh, I forgot they've got Walcott. Nice tackle. Couldn't have dropped rather more kindly for me, could it? And again, Kasper Dolberg gets under control. Can he get past the defender? Can we turn inside? Oh, he's left him on his ass. Kasper Dolberg. Oh, Kasper Dolberg. I mentioned in the last episode that he hadn't been firing on all cylinders recently. But that was superb. Sends the defender to his backside, turns inside and then finesses that home. It's only taken him three minutes to give us a 1-0 lead. Sorry, Monaco, but you might really struggle to finish second now. Long. Ramsey. Trying to get away from Fabinho. There's Casper. We send another defender to his backside. Not to his backside, but we'll cut inside. Is this going to be a carbon copy? No, he's caught. Penalty given. Casper Dolberg wins penalties. He's given the penalty. And scores goals. I mean, do I give him? Do I give him the? Um, do I give him the pen as well? I mean, why not? Go on then, Casper. Where are you? Are you there? Seventy-five pens for Casper Dolberg. He's going to step up, and we're going to go middle. Nails it. Two 0 Arsenal after eleven minutes. There's chicken balls in the fridge. Yes, I thought there would be. Can we send Casper Dolberg in? Oh my God! Can he score a fifteen-minute hat trick? No. Maybe if we could pull this back to him. No. Yes, he's done. I've got to use the run of Iwobi here. Holds off the attentions of Theo. Iwobi turns inside. And Alex Iwobi draws a good save out of... Uh, draws a good save out of Sebastic. Uh -huh. Is that mine? It is. I'm not in my new house yet, mate. No. Not till the first week of September, probably. Certainly not until I'm back from Germany. The Ox. Back there to Aaron Ramsey. Woby quickly to Sergi Roberto. Oh, it's going to drop. Oh, Mesa Ertzil. There's the third. That was really lucky, but I'll take it. Monaco are getting destroyed here. 3-0 in the 36th minute. Bought on Dira for Tira again. Lol. They did that in the first game against them. Continue with a corner short to Theo. Drill back to Jemison. So Joao Moutinho Mbappe, ooh, finish, squeeze that home really well. 3-1, Mbappe is delighted. No game face on him this year. I wonder if he'll have game face next year, I presume so. Or on FIFA 18. I presume he'll have game face. Anyway, 3-1, good finish that. Still not going to get anything from the game, but GG. Here's Dira. Are they going to start some sort of fight back here? From Moutinho to Dira. Footwork. Footwork. Oh no, they are mounting a comeback. Moutinho makes it 3-2. Mistake from Weber. A rare mistake from Weber. 
I mean, D-Rust tore me apart on this left-hand side. He's just completely rinsed me, but keeps. Punched it straight to Jean Moutinho with a great finish. 3-2. Bezul. Dolberg. Oh, he's in. No, he's not in. What a tackle. Ah, piss. I don't want to find myself in a position where I'm trying so hard to get Dolberg a hat-trick that I end up wasting a golden opportunity and then Monaco come back at me even more and get an equaliser, though. I have to be careful here. I do want to get Dolberg a hat-trick, but I also don't want to not win the game. The Deal. Into Ozil. Right, go on, Kasper. You're on side here. Please tell me you're on. Please be on side. Kasper Dolberg, please be on side. He's still going. Kasper Dolberg. Kasper Dolberg. No, Subasic. You asshole. Son of a bitch. I was certain he was going to score there. Ramsey, round the corner to Ozil. Kasper Dolberg. Kasper Dolberg. Oh, side netting only. We've got a corner. It's deflected. Come on, Kasper. You're at the near post. You're at the near post. Go on. Oh, it's over him. He's going to drop to... What the shit was that, Alex? Oh, go on, he said, oh, never mind. He's headed that away. What was Alex oxlade Chamberlain doing there? Casper! Casper! Oh! Oh, nice little flick from Aaron. Go on, let's go for the 1-2. He's in again! Go on, Casper! Go on, Casper! This time! No! He can't score his third! Ah! Sadibe. That's a great cross. Oh, that wasn't far away from Jemison. Inches from getting a 3-3 draw there, Monaco. Now, would that have been enough if it had gone in to get them through to the next round? I tried desperately, desperately to get Kasper Dolberg a hat-trick, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. And the other result was Juventus 3, mentioned Gladbach nil. so no. Even if that had gone in, Monaco wouldn't have been going through, but they will still be in Europe. Monaco will go to the round of 32 of the Europa League. Juventus will join me in the knockouts of the Champions League. We'll get some prize money for that, which is £18.5 million. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think the knockout rounds would have been drawn yet, will it? It's probably too early for that, although matches were rescheduled. Let's have a look. Uh, yes, we've got CSK Moscow. We have CSK Moscow in the first knockout round of the Champions League. But up next is Stoke. Nicely done. Asensio, Casemiro, Lacazette's there. Asensio will keep the run going. We'll use him as a distraction. Oh, dear. Lacazette was distracted himself, I think. Nicely done. Shakir. Oh, stop it, Shakiri. Oh, my word. No, it's fine. It's Glenn Johnson. I thought it was Charlie Adam for a minute, and that could have flown tops. But no, it was Charlie Johnson. Charlie Johnson? It was <laughs> Glenn Johnson. Charlie Johnson is someone completely different. Beatles. Oh, it's a nice ball into Joe Allen. And Boney's there. Oh, check. What a save. That was almost certainly going to be 1 0. Catch that. Thank you. Oh, Petrex kept me in that. That was a really, really good save. It was a great move by Stoke as well. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, come back, Glenn. Stoke. Oh, my God. What a strike. Ibrahim Afolai. Well done, Beirin. Check has been the difference in this game so far. I can't create anything. Nothing. Nada. Zilch. Not a thing. Alexis. This is better. This is better. This is better. Alexander Lacazette steps up yet again. 1-0 Arsenal. It's about time we put together something like that. Great move. Great finish. We lead. I don't deserve it at all. But we've got it. Chaka. Oh, I've got an itch. No, not now. When I'm on the counter-attack. It's Lacazette. Lamar's gone again. Play it over the top to make sure he gets there. Go on, Tomat. Turn away from all the big strong men that you can't outmuscle. Give that in there to Chaka. Chaka. I see Casemiro. There's Asensio. And we'll poke that for Lacazette. Alexandre Lacazette. Oh, misses. Nice ball around the corner. Asensio on his left foot. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No. My defence has gone walkabouts. Petter fucking check. Oh my word. I mean, Wilfred Boney will never, ever fancy himself from a one on one again after that. That's a foul, if you don't mind, ref. Thank you. Casemiro out wide to Bayerine on the attack. On the counter. Eventually, people twigged and teammates started to join me. Into Lacazette. Around the corner. Alexis misses. I tell you what. I am sorely tempted to sell Alexis Sanchez in the upcoming window. 
into Casemiro. Lamar wants to make that run. He's desperate to make that run, but Lacazette's made a good one too. Then we'll work it out wide to Toma. And cut back and drill it. And Casemiro. I mean, at least we've still got a 1-0 lead, but I didn't feel like I deserve this 1-0 lead. Really not played well at all. There's Alexis on the outside. Oh, Alexis, come on, mate. And now they're in. Here's Kurt Zuma on loan from Chelsea. Kurt Zuma. Oh, jeeps. Get that away. Please, ref. Just put me out of my misery. Thank you. I never thought I'd be relieved to hear the final whistle at home against Stoke, but I am relieved to hear the final whistle at home against Stoke. Three points in the league, just. My only shot on target was the one that won it. Now, we'll go and have a squad report and think about the January transfer window. Right, squad report time. Uh, I'll sort by position, actually, considering we're thinking about the transfer window. Petr Cech, uh, his stats are starting to drop, but it's only his kicking, really. His reactions are down by two, so I don't know whether I should sell Petr Cech on and replace him. Weber isn't good enough yet to step up, but by the end of the season, he might be. So I'm tempted to keep Petr Cech until the end of this season, especially after the way he just played against Stoke. And then up Weber to my number one goalkeeper at the end of the year, and then maybe use Martinez as a backup. I'm unsure. I think we'll keep Cech until the end of the season. At right back, I'm very happy with Bayerine and Sergio Roberto. He's unhappy with the amount of games he's playing, but he's played 10 games so far. Bayerine has played 18. But he'll, he'll get... Plenty of football between now and the end of the season, Sergio Roberto. We'll be able to turn that morale around. I'm quite happy with the right-back situation. I see no. No, I'm not. Because, thinking about left-backs, I've been trying to sell Kieran Gibbs. I can't get rid of him. I think I want a right-back in January. Because Kalashinats is 80-rated now. Nacho Monreal is 30 and stats is starting to drop. So I might want a left-back and a right-back in January. I mean, Nacho's great. But I might consider selling him on. Kieran Gibbs is already transfer listed, isn't he? He's already transfer listed. So I'm, I might consider selling Gibbs and Nacho and bringing a wing back on both sides. Thinking about that, actually, for January. There we go. It's just come to me off the top of my head. Centre-back wise, Mustafi, growing. Great. Koscielny, not declining, crucially. Great. Manolas is up one. Issa Diop is up one. Rob Holding is up four. And then Gabriel is transfer listed. I don't think we need any signings centre-back-wise. I'm happy with Mustafi, Koscielny, Manolas, Diop and Holding. I'm happy with those five. And Gabriel we can sell. I really don't need six. So I'm going to sell Gabriel. And uh, we'll keep the rest. Because Diop hasn't been seen enough first-team football yet, really. Uh, Holding mid, Casemiro. Very happy with him. He's growing. Three goals, three assists in 16 games. Granite Chaka up one. His acceleration's up one. Great. But... In all fairness, pleased with Chaka so far. He's been rock solid for me. Coquelin also growing, which is good news. Uh, we also have, of course, Wilshere and Ramsey, both of which are growing. Aaron Ramsey feels threatened. Those two goals in the Football League Cup were his only goals of the season so far. I was contemplating selling on one of these two and bringing in another incredible centre mid, but I really don't think we need to as of yet. Might concentrate elsewhere for now, maybe on that right mid left mid or right back left back situation sorry on the right hand side of midfield we're currently playing Tomar Lamar because he can play on the right we've got Alexis Sanchez on the left Lamar with two goals three assists in 13 Premier League games Alex Iwobi I'm going to try and send him on loan I think and I want to bring someone else in another winger in uh, at Cam Ozil I will so he's got he's got six goals and six assists he's good Ozil it's just that Asensio's better. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, is Ozil too good to have sat in a rotation side? Is that wasted money, him just being there? Should I sell him on and replace... Then sell, maybe sell Ozil on, use Asensio as my starting cam and bring in a youngster at cam, maybe. Maybe bring in a young player at cam. And sell Ozil on. Because that's a lot of money to be sat there. 50 plus million. Uh, Alexandre Lacazette is superb at striker. 13 and 17 for him. Alexis Sanchez is homesick. And I think wants to leave. He's got three goals, four assists. I do want to try him. Now that we've... I'll make the change permanent 
in the uh, in the team management screen. I'm going to try in between now and the start of the window. I'm going to try him as uh, set to cut inside from that left wing spot and see if he can actually get more involved in the games. And then hopefully we can get more out of Alexis Sanchez. Casper Dolberg is great. He's brilliant. Really enjoy using him. He's growing as well, which is good news. Lucas Perez, we will continue to look to sell, I think. And then the youngsters are out on loan, so we don't need to worry about them. And Balde Keita, I'm thinking of selling him on as well. I really haven't gotten on well with Balde Keita at all. I think he, he's going to go down as a failed experiment, unfortunately. I am sorely tempted, sorely tempted to sell him on again. But I will take feedback from you guys in the YouTube comments. And obviously everybody that's here in Twitch or here on Twitch, I'll take your feedback over the next couple of streams whilst we work our way up towards the transfer window on those particular players and the aspects we've raised there. But that's basically my thoughts heading into the January transfer window. Definitely want a left back and a right back. Definitely want a left back and a right back. The cam spot is questionable. And Alexis Sanchez, I don't know what to do with him. And Balde Keita, I don't know what to do with him. Yeah. There's a lot to think about. We currently have, we currently have, if I edit it slightly, we currently have about 20 odd million, 25 million maybe. If I go to 85, yeah, 23, 24 million and 150 grand there in the wage budget. We could significantly increase that, significantly increase that with uh, the introduction or the sale, sorry, of a number of other players. Uh, s objective wise, season objective wise, uh, we've done the brand exposure. Youth development isn't done. We need to earn 323 million in three seasons. That will easily be done over the course. Uh, increase the club's worth by 10%. We've already done that by 40%. So the club's worth is up by 4%. Uh, domestic success, win the league total. We are top. Win the FA Cup. We haven't played in it yet. And reach the final of the Champions League. Well, we're in the knockouts. We can't ask for any more than that. We've done well enough so far. So... That's going to bring today's episode to a close. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more. Uh, there will be an episode of Fatal Today, being Sunday, on the YouTube channel. So I'm not sure whether that will have gone up before this or after this. I haven't yet decided, as of the recording of this, when that video will go live. I will let you know on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter on the link down below. Of course, follow the Twitch channel too on the link down below so you can watch these live and have your say as we run up to the January transfer window, as well as your say in the YouTube comments. But for now, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you later.